All right, time to do some work on this thing. It's, it's the next day and I'm gonna change this compressor. It's buried way up here. So first things first, I'm gonna get all these skid panels down and uh, we'll see what it's gonna take to get this compressor out. There we go. Alrighty, I got I got one of the all the covers off down here and my compressor is way way up there. It's gonna be an interesting removal. I've never done this job before, so this should be this should be good. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna need to get in here to reach some of the bolts, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this inner fender out. All right, turn this around. Do the backside next. Uh, I've got three or four more of these plastic clips in the center fender. Should come out of here without much grief. Let's start with the front side first. That one seems to want to move around a little bit more. Here it comes. Let's see, the fender flare is trapping it. There we go. Got it. Oh, now that's a shame. Look at this. I did all that work just for this much access. But I'll need it because there's that bolt right there. Way, way in the back. Okay, one bolt there. Got these two 10 mils for the lines right there. Alrighty. Alright, I'm definitely going to need the wobbly bits for, uh, for this job here. First thing I'm gonna try to do is get to the uh, the 10 millimeter nuts that hold these lines on, and we'll get these lines disconnected from the compressor. If I can get my wobbly on them. There's zero straight line of sight here. Hmm. Step one, remove engine. Step two, replace compressor. Got it. All right. So due to the fact that there's almost no line of sight on this, most of this video is kind of going to be, uh, you know, like paraphrasing. Otherwise, I'll be making like a five-hour video, and uh, ain't nobody got time for that. the first AC line I'm trying to remove here. Oh, just, there it goes. You hear that vacuum release? I'm just gonna push that up out of the way and I'll be able to get my, uh, my wobbly 10 on that second nut, which is way, still way down in there. You see it? Yeah, it's far. So as it turns out, the bracket for the second line is also bolted to the, there are, is also one of the bolts for the compressor, so I need to get that bolt out. Let's see if it comes loose now. 
Oh, it's so oily. There we go. Oh, I wonder if I can pull this line out through the bottom to get it out of the way. Yep, sure can. Cool. So I want to get to the third compressor bolt, which is in the back side behind these two fittings. There is a, there's zero line of sight on it. And I, there's no way I'm gonna get this on cam. But I just wanna let you guys know that there is one more bolt back there and it is, uh, I'm already upset that it exists. But um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get, I can't even get my finger on it right now. That's, that's how buried it is. I can't get anything else out of the way because there's nothing there except for a shock tower. So I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time with this and I'm probably gonna cut my finger. But uh, I'll be back once I get it off of there. Okay, so I'm, I'm leaning backwards, my right arm twisted up behind the frame, left arm is up over the frame and I'm reaching up and in and through a bunch of wires and I can barely get my fingers on the bolt and on my extension, but I'm, I'm starting to get this uh, come out. I'm starting to get this bolt out of here. It's a tight squeeze and I don't like it and it hurts. Oh, almost, I, it's turning. The real shitty part is, is there's oil on everything. So now there's oil on me and it, that means there's oil on my tools and it's reducing my grip, which makes this uh, exponentially more frustrating. And I can't wear gloves because there's so many uh, things for the gloves to get caught on, they'll just tear left and right. So I'm, this is kind of a, a it's a no-win situation until I finally win, oh, which is right now. There it is. There's that mofo. All right, according to the new compressor, I've got one bolt down, two bolts down. Yeah, this is where that third one was. And there's no clearance here. There's a shock tower in this area. I had to reach up and in and down and in to, to put my finger on that bolt. So I've only got one more and then I can work on working this thing out of its house. Okay, so through the use of some more black magic, I got the, uh, the belt off. Um, now I've just got to lift this up and I've got that third bolt to remove and then I can work on the problem of getting this compressor actually out of this thing. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, and there's that one last bolt right up chuff in between those hoses. Once that bolt comes out, this compressor is gonna flop free. And I think I can just sneak it out right, right through here. But uh, well, we'll see. And we have uh, we have compound wobblies now. Each one of those is a wobble extension. There we go. Oh, it moved. Timber. Okay, first I want my bolt back. It's so greasy. I can't like it. Yeah, I don't, I wanna say it, but I don't, but I'm going to. I, I think I'm in the home stretch with this. I, oh, I hope I'm not. I hope I didn't speak too soon and I have to remove all these power steering lines or whatever. That would uh, make me unhappy. Maybe I'll go between them. Do not go between them. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Come here, you oily piece of crap. Thing. Here it comes. Jeez. All right, it's out. All right. Here comes the new one. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to be as much of a bear coming, going in as it was coming out. 
and I, I think it might be oh but I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can do to get her in there it's already lubed up because of all the oil leaks so it should just slide right into its designated area get in your home here it goes it's going oh I'm gonna win this battle guys I'm gonna win uh, all right more light cool it's in time to start getting bolts installed Yay. okay I've got one bolt in hand I just need to figure out where the hole is which I can barely see I think it's right around yeah right about there I think that, that feels good Okay, that's one. Come on, threads, just take. Do it for me, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, it's it's in, but it's that's the wrong angle. Oh, shit. I think I have to take that back out again. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's undo that and try again. See how the compressor is angled downwards in the back? That's that's not gonna work. Let me try this. <sighs> What's it hitting up there? I think that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You son of a bitch, it fell down. Look at it. Stay there. All right, I'm gonna get the top bolt in and then I'll I'll go around and get that uh that bear of a rear bolt. Okay, that's where the top one goes. Way back there, see it? Try to feel it by hand. I think that's the spot. Yeah, I got her now. Okay. Now I'm gonna run these two front ones down almost all the way, but not so it makes the compressor tight against the block because I want to be able to move the compressor around some so I can get that third bolt installed. So we go down until it stops. And I'll back it off like half a turn. So now it's it's almost exactly where it should be, but I still have a little bit of play. Okay. All right, third bolt. I've got a hand in from the back side to support it. And the bolt's coming in. I am reaching around. I feel the hole. Okay. Whoa, loud noises. That startled me. I'm just working it in with my, my fingertips right now. I think I've started the threads, yeah. Cool. Okay, socket time. Forgive me for lack of a camera angle on this one. It's, uh, it is about 97% impossible for me to get a shot inside of where I'm working at right now. Loud noises. 
And a little ratchet time. comes the, the bigger ratchet for some torque app, uh, applying leverage. I'm trying to find the bolt again. I lost it. I feel it. Oh, come on now. There it is. Nope, lost it again. Time to switch hands. All right, it made it to the ground. Sweet. Okay, it's uh, it's installed. Let's tighten up this top bolt. Yeah, click. And uh, and the bottom bolt. I'm getting that one right now. I know you can't see it, but. Ah, there's the click. So what's left is gonna be the plug, which I can feel that it's it's right over here somewhere. I gotta get the plug and then the two hoses. I think I'll do the hoses first. Those were those were harder to do. Oh, you know what? I have to get this top bolt back out because the that high side hose needed this bolt to hold its bracket on. So I'll uh, I'll just yank this back out right now. Here it comes. I think I got it. Okay. There's the nut. I'll thread this all the way down as much as possible so I don't have to fight with the wobblies while trying to tighten this nut down. There it is. And this bracket, well, that lines up okay, good. Click. All right, one more hose going in. That was not easy to get out of there, but it's going back in now. Some careful bending action was uh, was required here. Please go in. It's, I've got it over the stud. I'm just trying to line up the, maybe if I bend this down some, turn it. What am I running into? It's, it seems to be hitting something here. Oh, there she goes. Now it's lined up, sort of. Yeah, it's in now. See it right there by my thumb? It's in. Cool. And one more little nut. Ah, my fingers don't fit. Got it. It's uh it's threaded on. Okay. Sweet. And there's a bolt that goes up here for that bracket too. I'm gonna get that next. And I will also use the compound wobblies. Oh, 
click again. All right, it's in. Let me uh, finagle this connector back, back on, and this thing's gonna be in good shape. I can get the get the rest of these parts put back together, charge it, vacuum test it, and ship it. Okay, there. Connector is double clicked. That's on. Now I just gotta. I need to let it down and get my healthy helper, and I'll get these belts or this belt back on. Good. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and pry up on the tensioner, please. All right. And get comfortable. It's gonna take a second. I am so comfortable. Right I hope now. so. If you're gonna lose it, let me know because my fingers are in the way. Will do. All right, release. Keep going, keep going, you're good. All right, that's, a, that's an installed belt, we got it. Thank you. Okay, recap time. I got the both of the hoses with their brackets installed, the belt is on. I've already taken the liberty of connecting the refrigerant recovery machine and installed that. It is now vacuuming the system down as we speak. So, I believe that all that I have left to do at this point is to uh, get the wheel back on and, uh, oh yeah, 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 the inner fender well that sucked. Okay, yeah, so inner fender well, wheel, and then those skid plate panels down below. Uh, by that time, this machine should be done uh, pulling a vacuum and uh, we'll recharge it and uh, see how it uh, performs with a new compressor. Okay, on in fender well. place-ish. It was the edge pieces that were giving me so much grief. And then this one went above that one. There. Yeah! That's how she goes. Excellent. Okay, everything's put back together here. The fender's in place. And the inner fender. I just need to throw the hardware into it and uh, then I'll move down below, get those uh, skid panel pieces put back up. Alrighty, all of the, uh, the clips and fasteners have been installed. Let's get the skid plates put back up. Okay, I have initiated the uh, refrigerant installation procedure to install 910 grams of refrigerant and the machine would like to place it into another vacuum even though I just got done having it in a vacuum because EPA. Thanks guys. Alrighty, machine has completed its charging sequence. Let's start the system and see what we get. Starting the engine. Okay, we got some good pressures going here. This is nice. Everybody's working. Let's go check the thermometer again. Sweet, it's still falling. Okay, let's let, I'm gonna let this run for a little while and we'll see where it, uh, where it stops. I, I wanna see about 40, 44 degrees. And I'll achieve that with windows up and AC on high. In the meantime, I'm going to retrieve the, uh, the connections here, get the hoses off and reinstall the engine cover. Come out. Okay. By the time I cleared the rack. Yeah, we're down, what are we at, 40, 47, 48 maybe? We're getting there. Let's add a little bit of throttle just to get everything up to normal operating speed. And it temps, temp came down a little bit more. I find mid 40s acceptable. This is a success, this is good. All right, a quick little spin around the block is gonna finish up the work on uh, on this one here. Why is that in the middle of the road? 
Oh yeah, a little bit of forward momentum. We're at uh, 42, 43 degrees. This is good. I like it. Before I get out onto the road, seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Swerving. Man, we're almost about to touch 40. This is a this is a super cold AC system. Not bad. Well, I just had a mini heart attack. The uh, the hood that I just shut popped open as soon as I pulled out into the road and got a little bit of speed going. That was that was scary. Unfortunately I had the cam off at the time. Look at that. Look at that. Euro junk. That seems to be the problem here. Nothing. Okay. Whew! All right, well, seeing as how that uh, that hood is now confirmed latched, and the latch down here is not stuck in the pulled back position, uh, I think I can head back out on the road again. But yeah, that was definitely a mini heart attack when I saw that hood pop up a little. It didn't come off of its secondary latch, but it did come out of its home position. And that's the first failure in the series of failures that can lead to disasters. So after fixing that little snafu, I am uh, convinced that this job is all good and ready to go and be returned to the consumer. So after all that being said, I'd like to finish up by thanking each one of you for watching this video. If, uh, if you felt tormented by the agony that uh, this Land Rover subjected me to, please let me know about that by tappy tapping that thumbs up button. If you didn't like what happened in this video or you think I did something wrong, please feel free to let me know about that in the comment section down below. So again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget, have a great day. Check it out. It has achieved 39 degrees. Hazard. in a scary situation halfway down in that 10 foot deep ditch ditch it's weird this particular road right here always seems to produce some interesting scenery as I drive by I don't know what it is but there's there's always something going on right right through here on this strip oh by the way I forgot to do the the YouTube sales thing and uh, remind you guys to check the, uh, the links and stuff in the description down below. Um, as per viewer request, I have created a Patreon account. So if you wish to buy me a beer or send some tip money my way, uh, you can do that through the Patreon. Um, if you do not wish to join Patreon, you will also find a link to my Amazon page. And if you use that link to buy anything from Amazon, like the stuff that you normally buy, Amazon will give me a kickback because you came there through my link. So if you want to help me out and you feel like doing some Amazon shopping today, just check out that link in my description and please use that one. All that being said, again, thank you guys and have a great day. Sales pitch over with, powered down. Goodbye, purple maroon Euro Rover.